Hi guys, in this video we will react on Charles Spain comments about GME stocks, ACM stocks, the situation with hedge funds uh, and we will see what went right and what went wrong. Let's dive in. I, I gotta say, I recommended many of these stocks on January 11th or before. I've got the report in my hand that I sent out to my subscribers and here's the list. The shorts, first of all, all of this nonsense, all of this... Something that is very amazing is that uh, even before the whole bus went around about these stocks, uh, Charles Payne said that he already informed his subscribers. Uh, he already mentioned that uh, a lot of these stocks are heavily shorted from the hedge funds and he recommended uh, to his subscribers to start buying those stocks. Uh, funny thing, under this interview, uh, I saw uh, people are joking that uh, DFV probably uh, was one of those subscribers. This is why he was one of the first people who bought the stock. Anyway, let's go dive in. Boys, all of this whining by Wall Street, it's making me sick. 140% of GameStop was short. I didn't hear one person on TV complaining about Wall Street trying to crush GameStop. 140% short. I told my subscribers, buy this stock, and they made a fortune. I also told them to buy Virgin Space, uh, Virgin. We took profits on that today. Fizz, that's up huge. Tangers is up huge. Neil, you can't allow, allow Wall Street to short 75% of a stock, and nobody says anything crush these companies into the dirt and then when the individual investor makes That's money true. you can't allow wall street to short 75 percent no matter which company we're talking about no we're not talking about balance sheets fundamentals you cannot allow wall street to short 75 percent of any company and then uh, wall street to cry wall street to whining and uh, asking for bailing out because tons of people who are in reddit who saw the opportunity start buying boost the price and these people uh, actually uh, received amazing bill paying huge losses hey, everyone's up in arms oh they're gonna lose their shirt don't you think people are trading if it traded 80 billion shares today people are ringing a register this was uh, one of the biggest thing when people start making money everyone was happy everyone was uh, posting these icons with the rockets everyone was ready to uh, go to the moon and it's, at some point everyone said hey uh, individual investors, regular people start making money, uh, start uh, becoming financial independent, uh, start uh, being much more uh, free without the need of the brokerages, uh, something happened, you know. We saw first Robinhood uh, restrict some of the stocks trading, then we saw some of the other brokerages also restrict stocks, and then we saw little by little the prices to start plummeting. I have a kid who bought a house. He had, a, he made fifty thousand dollars and bought a house. So yes, yeah, some people are going to lose and some are going to win. But if you want to, if they want to change the rules of the game now, somebody bought a house, guys, with fifty thousand dollars. I don't know where the guy is living, but uh, fifty thousand dollars are not a lot of money. But this is good, good for the guy. A lot of people lost fifty thousand dollars. So good for the guy. He was able to close the position when uh, it was the right time to do it because the general public is making money after decades of the shorts crushing thousands of stocks into the dirt. I have watched stocks being crushed completely to zero uh, and no one ever whispered This is very true. Remember what happened with the crisis in 2008-2009? They were betting that all the companies who uh, lent the money for people to buy houses, uh, people who didn't have any credit score, people who didn't have any income, uh, they allowed them to buy the house, to buy the homes without any protection for the funds. And then they will start betting against them. Uh, there was a trial with a couple of the investment banks who lent uh, money to these people who uh, purchased the homes without any income. Uh, they call them ninja mortgages. And then they start uh, buying uh, put options through the companies that lend them money through. So basically they are on the both sides of the bettings. So they lend the money to the people and from other side they are betting that they wouldn't able to repay the money so they will file for bankruptcy. This is how the whole crisis in 2008 worked. And now this is what Charles Payne is pointing out. This is how they used to make money in the last 30, 40, 50 years. And nobody said nothing about it. But now we're seeing that individual investor is taking place playing the same game and now they're complaining about it they're not happy about it that there is something someone out there who knows how to play the game better than them 
anything because those stocks didn't have Wall Street sponsorship. They were small names. Maybe they went public through a reverse takeover. Whatever it was, the shorts have had their way with the market for decades. No one's ever complained about it. <laughs> Remember what happened with Lehman Brothers? There were four or five banks on Wall Street that were in a very similar condition, very similar situation. And the only one company was bankrupt, right? We all know who. So I am thrilled if you were going to try to destroy a company by shorting 140% of its stock, you have to accept the fact that individual investors are playing the same game that you're playing and now you're losing. Exactly. You heard of that? If you accept to play the game in which the rules are the same, but so far, looking back in the history, nobody played the game against them. So they used to be a one player in one game. But now there are multiple players and all the Reddit players, we in general, we play against them and they didn't uh, expect that. We caught them off guard. This is why uh, they first didn't know how to react. And after a while, after they lost 18 billion dollars in the first weeks, they decided to act differently. And we saw what happened. We saw the restrictions buying uh, certain stocks. We saw restrictions. Uh, limitations if you even are open to buy more stocks you will get limitations you saw limitations on the uh, buying power instant buying power that we normally have that every broker should have and in this way they crushed the price and then they were able uh, as we saw the latest report today to uh, earn some uh, billion and a half back but we're still more ahead of them Thanks again for watching guys. I hope this video was uh, interesting. I hope this video gave you a real perspective what actually happened and uh, very, very good explanation. Probably in my opinion, uh, this video should uh, be part of the history about the movie uh, because we all know uh, three different companies are working on three different uh, type of uh, movies explaining the history of Wall Street bets, explaining the history of GameStop and all these Reddit stocks. So I hope they include the guy the guy has a, a very, very good vision about what actually happened and what was fair and what wasn't.